Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a rewind effect in Premiere Pro. Now I'm going to be showing you a couple of ways how to do this. One which is very, very basic, very simple, very quick, which is using a green screen, which in my opinion I don't like. The second way I'm going to be showing you is how to create it from scratch. And the reason I like this way is because you get full control of how this actually looks. Now it does take a bit more time, however you will see it is worth it. So here we are in Premiere Pro and as you can see on screen I've got my video already here so I'm just going to play it through for you. This is what we will be working with. As you can see, pretty simple video. Now the video is going to play in full and then we're going to add the reverse. So the first thing you need to do is duplicate the video. So a quick and easy way is holding Alt on your keyboard, left clicking and dragging the video. Now by all means if you want the audio as well just left click and drag the audio over. Very quickly, we'll just link them back up. So we'll highlight them, right click, and simply select link. So what we're going to be doing is reversing this video. So all we need to do is right click it, select speed and duration. And now, personally, I believe you should make the rewind a lot faster, simply because if it takes the exact same time it took to get there, it doesn't give the impression it is actually a rewind. So I'm going to bump this up to 250. And then I'm going to select reverse speed and I highly recommend you take that as well. Otherwise, you're not going to get a rewind. You're going to get a fast forward. Anyway, once that is done, you can simply select OK. And what we're then going to do is this video on the end, which is going to hold alt and drag that across to the very end. So now if I play it through, as you can see, it's going to play. It's then when it gets here, it's going to rewind. Just like that and then it's gonna obviously play back as normal and there we go that is the tutorial done i hope you guys have enjoyed. yeah obviously that's a bit of a shit job all we've done is done a reverse now we're going to add some cool effects to make it of course look a lot more better now the next thing we're going to be doing is heading over to the project over here and we're going to add on a black video so come over to new item and select black video from here just make sure the width and the height matches your actual project and select ok from here you want to drag and drop this onto video track 2 and just shorten the length so it matches the rewind time here. And from here, we're going to be adding some noise to it. So what you're going to do is head over to the effects tab. And from here, just simply search in noise. Now, if you scroll down, you'll be able to see here under noise and grain, there's different types of noises. I'm going to be using the default noise and I'm just going to drag and drop this onto the black video. So now you can choose the amount of noise and I'm going to go straight up to 100%. And over here, you can get the option to have the color. Now it's up to you if you want the color or don't. There's no right, there's no wrong way. Personally for me, I'm not going to have it on. Same with the noise. If you don't want it this strong, you can adjust this later on. Now another thing you can do here with the blend mode, if you change this, I would recommend you could change it to lighten. Now it's completely optional and this is how it will currently look. However, it will make more sense at the end why you can change it to lighten. Now from here, we're now going to add on another thing and we're just going to type in wave warp. And as you can see, it's in the video effects, distort and wave warp. Drag and drop this onto the black video and just scroll down under the effect controls. As you can see, we now get control over a few more things. So the first thing is for wave type. We're going to be changing this to sawtooth and the direction we're going to be changing from 90 to 180. And then for the wave height, what you want to do is keep bringing this up until you see some splits. So as you can see, there are some lines coming here. Now, if I just take off lighting for a second, you can see it'll make things a bit easier for us. So for the wave height, we're then just going to keep going up and up until, of course, we got our lines like this. As you can see, this is now what we are working with. Now for the wave width, you can again adjust how big these bars are. So of course, the bigger they are, the less they'll be on screen. So I'm going to keep it here. So there's three on screen. Again, no right or wrong way. It's completely optional. Now, if I just played this through for you, this is currently what we've got. As you can see, as it rewinds, we get these lines coming down. Now, they are pretty slow at the moment, so if you do want to adjust it, you can see over here it says wave speed. Now, this is a very, very effective tool, meaning it's very powerful. So if you go above 10, it's going to be super, super fast. So what I'm going to do is change it to 3.5 and select enter. Again, there's no right, there's no wrong way. You pick what you think is best for you. But that's what I'm going to stay with, 3.5. As you can see, that's how it will look. Now we're not done just yet. What you then want to do is head over to the project again and this time you're going to select new item and we're going to add on an adjustment layer. From here again make sure the width and the height match your project and drag and drop this onto video track 3 and once again shorten the length so it matches the rewind part only. 
again, we're going to go back to effects and we're going to add on the same effects. We're going to start with noise. We're going to drag and drop the default noise onto the adjustment layer. And again, we're going to put a hundred percent. And this is again, completely optional if you want to use the color or if you don't. And for this one, I actually will. And this time heading back to the effects, you're going to add on wave warp. So drag and drop this onto the adjustment layer and just scroll now. First thing we're going to be doing where it says wave type, we're going to be changing this to smooth noise. As you can see, we get these little zigzags here. The direction, again, we're going to change from 90, this time to 180. And as for the height and the width, what we're going to be doing is creating the wavy video. So we're just going to bring up the height. As you can see, this is what we've got. And I'm going to bring up the width. And as you can see, we're slowly getting the VCR effect here, just like this. So if you want to pause the video and copy my settings, by all means you can. Now notice we've got these black bars here, so we are going to get rid of them very simply by where it says pinning. We're going to change it from none and we're going to select all edges. Just like that, it's now gone. So I'll play it through and I'll just pre-render this part here. Now I'll play it through for you and as you can see, this is the effect. So you can see we get the zigzags, the lines and of course the noise which gives it the old retro rewind effect. Now we are almost done, there is just a couple of things we need to do and the first one is of course we need to add on the rewind logo or the symbol. So to do this just press Control T on your keyboard and you can see it will bring up the text and all we're going to do is type in re and these are logos here, these icons on that should be all capitals. Of course you can experiment with the fonts for this, I'm just using Tahoma and I don't know if I pronounced that right, you can let me know in the comments. Anyway, once again, shorten the length to match your video. And what we're going to do is just leave that in position wherever you want to. And the very most important thing here is actually drag this down. And you're going to be moving this onto video track two. So the adjustment layer and the black video we created, you want to drag this up by one track. And then what you want to do with the rewind is drag this underneath to video track two. Now, this makes more sense. And the reason being is because as you can see, we've now got the rewind text at the top left. However, the noise is actually affecting it as well as if it is on the video. And that is why we put the rewind symbol onto video track two. So pretty simple. That is it now completed. And of course you can add a rewind noise effect, which I will be linking in the description for you to use as well. So now getting onto the easy method, we're going to start fresh. All we're going to do is firstly copy the video. And now what we're going to do with this one, we're just going to right click it, select speed and duration and bump the speed up. Again, I'm going to go with 250. You want to tick reverse speed and you want to select OK. Now that reverse is done. You then want to copy the initial video and drag and put this at the end. So now if we play it through, you can see there we go. The first thing we've got is some basic rewind. So from here, we're going to drag and drop on the green screen. As you can see, here is the green screen. I'm just going to cut into it a bit so then it's a bit more sped up. And all I'm going to do is press C on my keyboard and cut this right at the point where the reverse ends. And we're going to delete the excess rewind of the green screen. Firstly, it's not taking up the entire screen. So we're going to right click it and select set to frame size. As you can see, that is now working. And over to the side in the effects controls, you want to type in key. And then as you can see from here, we have all these different types of keys you can use to get rid of the green background. Now the one I'm going to be using is ultra key. I'm going to drag and drop this onto my green screen. From here, using the color picker, you want to select the background. So left click, as you can see, that's now all gone. And as you can see, that is how it turns out. So there you go. Now, of course, the rewind green screen I have used isn't the best, so you can experiment and use your own, just find them on YouTube or wherever you want to. However, as I mentioned in the beginning, I do prefer the first way I showed you, although it does take a lot more time. In the end, it looks a lot more better, a lot more cleaner, and the most beneficial thing, you get full control of how the effect actually looks.